Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play The Old Republic with me, Get Daved. Just me today. Well, unless you count this uh, charming Captain Malcolm Reynolds. We've just traveled to Narshada for the first time. So let's see I what's up. Narshada. This Do is you? the place you get everything you never knew you wanted. The only laws are the ones people make with bribes or blasters. It's good to be home again. Hmm. Narshada is your home world? I was born in space. But this has always felt like home. There's a hut here named Red Dragon's Flag. Prototype starship engine. We need it to find Noctrayan's fortune. Druga and I made a deal. He'll trade the starship engine for that caged beast. No job is simple when a hut's involved. Druga is far from the worst hut I've dealt with. When he gets crazy, just smile and nod. I don't know how I feel about a this. Giant moving party on his pleasure barge. It stops periodically at different locations. Right now, it's on the promenade. I sent Druga several messages, but he never replied. You'll have to make contact the old-fashioned way. Mm-hmm. Bad feeling about this. Don't worry. Druga's feasts are elaborate 40-course meals. He is probably too busy gorging himself to bother with a hollow. Before you go, one more thing. I know there's a price on your head from Rogan the Butcher over some business on Ord Mantel. Yeah, and what that. Hollow net is Rogan's personal bounty hunter is here on Narshada. His name's Zank Helrot. Between Watch that and a hut, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. You think Zank is here for me? It may only be a coincidence. No. You're better safe than sorry. Yes. The sooner we finish our business with Druga, the sooner we can be someplace Zank Helrot isn't. Have fun at the party. On the other hand, if I killed him, I could guarantee I was somewhere he wasn't. Also, still don't know what's going on with this guy. Uh, I really hope it doesn't mean someone else is out to kill me, because... Rogan the Butcher, pretty big handful. Also, so is Skavik. Yep. Thank you, C2N2. Narshada, a little bit like Coruscant and Terrace. Lots of ci lots of cities, lots of bright shiny lights. It's like dystopian Neo Tokyo. That would be my take on it. This is a loading screen. I will spare you. And welcome to Narshada. You may remember it from the Jedi Knight game. By which I mean the game called Jedi Knight. It starts here. Lots of crime. I think we also came here in Knights of the Old Republic 2. That's where you gained the force power. Force. Good clean oxygen. Also a debacle with Hanhar the Wookiee happened here and possibly Mira the Bounty Hunter, so I'm kind of hoping... I'm pretty sure the smuggler gets a Wookiee companion, and I'm hoping it's here. If you know what's good for you, don't set foot outside this spaceport. It's practically a war zone. Not an option. I minister planted with the Republic's diplomatic corps. I was almost killed out there. I don't know if you're really the sort of guy for this place. This part of They're violent and well-armed Nyctos who hate the Republic. They I have no idea what a Nyctos is. on the street in full view of everyone. My bodyguards were dead before I knew what was happening. Maybe it would be better if you didn't look worth robbing. Why are you bugging me with this? We're all, all of us, oh, friggin' core, so. The murders aren't the worst of it. My bodyguards all carry Republic passcodes, and now the gangsters have them. With those passcodes, the Kintan King can slip right through our security. We'll be defenseless. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll get those security passcodes back. I shouldn't trust those passcodes to just anyone, but this is an emergency, and you're all I've got. I get that a lot. Our security passcodes from those filthy criminals will save countless innocent lives, including mine. The Kintan Kings who shot my bodyguards are still outside the spaceport. They have the passcodes, I'm sure of it. Well, let's go find them. Yep. I play my smuggler as the reluctant hero. Not really an anti-hero, just a reluctant one. Han Solo style. Get daved! Everyone's backup, backup hero! 
well. Finally had enough of this dump, eh? Where to, Chief? Ducalon spaceport. Not to be confused with Ducalion. Did I bind there or not? Welcome back to Multiple Bindings with me, Get Daved. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Welcome. There we go. I guess there's nowhere else to go on foot unless... I wonder. Ah ha ha! I've fallen to my death a couple times, accidentally, on camera. Check out my other LPs in this series if you don't believe me. Well, it's nice that it's free. Not picky, I see. You Ibukai have lost what? Two homes to the huts now? Who was talking to me? Ouch. But hey, third time's the charm, right? Nice view of the city. It's pretty visually exciting. Does remind me a fair bit of the episode 2 take on Coruscant. Some flashpoint shuttles. I'm not sure which flashpoints, but doesn't appear relevant right now. I did uh, the flashpoints for ooh, quest. Um, well, we showed the SLS. I did a couple others. Yay! Yay? There we go. We should probably not do this in a public arena then. This is Jedi Grandmaster Satil Shan, requesting immediate assistance from my most trusted contacts. There is a powerful dark side threat we must confront. Uh huh. She's taken the Jedi reputation for being cryptic and run with it. <laughs> Oh, guess she's bringing me in for another uh, flashpoint. Secondary objective is to keep it secret. Well, we could go to the Republic fleet. This may be the flashpoint. Oh, Athos. Yes, I've already done this one, actually. This is one of the flashpoints I have done. You go to a jungle world. It's pretty exciting, actually. Really interesting boss fights. Also, some insane cultists. Not a joke. Flashpoints can usually be repeated once per day. So I think that's why I came up because I'm pretty sure I played that one last night. Playing nice doesn't sit right with me. We should be kicking the Empire's tail off the promenade. Okay. Gabranth. No Final Fantasy reference there. Wait a second here. You must unlearn what you have learned. Well. That's not unexpected. That's the first solid evidence I've heard that you can uh, erase skills though, which is exciting because I'm not entirely happy with what I've chosen. I don't mind that they nerfed slicing, although I've been enjoying it quite a bit. But I went with treasure hunting because it sounded fun. Not very useful for my uh, class right now, though. Let's you find items that you can exchange for other items that improve your relationship with your companions. Because, you know, I'm a pretty big fan of Corso Rigs, as you all know. So, hope you're all enjoying the sights and sounds of Nar Shada. It's a special world. Mira said in Narshada, crime is like the economy. So you gotta be careful not to disrupt the crime too much, lest unemployment take off. And then crime would happen. Finding this music slightly ominous. 
mechanical pads are currently open for business. Okay. Have a safe and pleasant stay. I'm sure we'll check those all out eventually. Oh, interesting. Lame. You know anything else about this area? Now's the time. Fair enough. Well, I guess we take a taxi to this exciting sounding place. And now we gotta pay. Incidentally, I'm very close to getting a level up, which will get me to level 25, which means I can get a speeder. Might as well open up some of the stuff I've been carrying around. I should really sell a lot of this loot, actually. I'm surprised there's no engine trails there. The Coruscant speeder had engine trails. Okay, and if the reputation's correct, I should be able to kill everyone I see. So far, bit of a letdown. Oh, I remember swoop gangs. Hmm. They killed someone you cared about, didn't they? Well, what if I did it? You got a brilliant plan, right? So you fry it while they're in midair. They're a swoop gang, that should be all the time. For the right price, I'll plant the immobilizers. Okay. And if you're wondering how the smuggler has so many enemies, it's because of crap like that. All the pro bono work I do. Or I guess for money work. Can I get you anything? And I guess I do need to check if I can give Corso this lovely earring. I uh, Corso, with this earring, you're gonna have no excuse to be worthless. And I'm just going to organize. I'm not going to make you watch this. What a good idea. All right, that's all taken care of. Now we can move on. Mm, so far, it doesn't seem too bad. I guess we can all agree this place is oh. on your credits and the other on your blaster. This place looks rough. Well, apparently he's oh that guy doesn't look so bad. Okay. These guys don't seem much worse than the Justicars, and I got pretty used to fighting them. Good news, everyone! 
This is not nearly as bad as Rakul's. And we can slice. Oh, this is a good one, too. I'm not even going to drop into cover. Oh. Good old Corso. See, if you hadn't have done that, this guy might have died in that area of effect attack I used. Uh, soon, Dave. Soon. You'll have someone other than C2N2 to bring in as an alternative. You know what? Even then. Okay, I'm going to go down here to take care of uh, the swoop bikes, because we'll probably get lots of chances to kill these guys. This guy appears to be have a special moonwalk ability. Was no match for my charged shots, though. I have a new ability that lets me shoot very quickly with charged shot as soon as I drop into cover. In theory it only works half the time, but it seems like it's working all the time right now, and I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Yeah, that was instant. And you know what? I'll take this opportunity off to show. That's my sexy new area of effect attack. Destroy fuel cells, hey? Next door crystals. Crystals. Not hard to get at either. Snapwave will be happy. I really like this. So I'm going to stick it out with that one. Although that sounds pretty great too. This one seems a little obscure, although it's nice that it's a passive bonus, and I do... I typically like to use charge shot to open my flurry, and if that's taking off activation time of aim shot... You know what, actually? I'm gonna go with that one instead. I'm a really huge fan of passive bonuses in games. They let me get away with not being a details person. And actually, we should take a quick look. Ooh! A better dirty kick and a speeder bike pass. Now that, that is the nicest thing I could have possibly hoped for. Okay, we should start seeing swoop bikes soon. I also have a really good cooldown time on uh, my uh, thermal detonator, which I think I've shown a couple times in recordings, but uh, special gunslinger present. Incidentally, Corso will also tell robots that they're dumb, ugly, and dead. All three of those things I don't think would really bother a robot. I'll just fiddle with this here and uh, just that. And boom! Six seconds! One second! I'm getting better at this.
So as a smuggler, there's been a couple times that I've wished I could just directly go into a combat, because I've definitely noticed differences uh, in my brief experiences using other classes. Yeah, this is how you want to play? You're dead. This attack hits, you're dead. It's cool, he's dead, Corso. With pretty much every other class I've played anyway, you can really just walk up and start killing stuff, whereas if you do that as a smuggler, not such a great idea. Oh, they tagged the kill. Well, I will just sabotage the swoop bike. I wonder if only one of us can. nice thing about Dirty Kick is that uh, I don't think attacking the enemy breaks the stun, whereas that is the case with uh, a couple of my other moves, most notably the Flash Grenade, which I'm going to use right here. Let's get him. <laughs> dodged? He dodged my attack! I'm vexed. There we go. Nothing too serious. Yep, this is a pretty exciting LP, watching me plant these explosives. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna end it here. And uh, you know what, I'll, I'll just shortcut you guys to the end. And we're back, so... I uh, just accidentally aggroed two groups at once. We live to tell the tale. Next stage of the bonus mission we're gonna find out. Kintan King's Medallion from the Kintan King Rider, or Ring Leader. Well, I suppose that sounds just as good. He's way the heck back there. That should be okay. I'm sure a swoop bike I haven't sabotaged already is on the way. Or that one that other person beat me to. And you know what? Blowing up these isn't exactly common, so... Against most of these enemies, I don't bother with things like Leg Shot, which I was not using enough before, was brought to my attention. Or, uh, our good friend Vittle Shot hits him in the Victuals. The Vittles. It's called Vital Shot. I was being stupid. Alright. Pretty stock quest there, everybody. Looks like we're going to have to go pretty far in to complete the mainline quest. Yeah, I'm just going to drop down. Better it happen under a controlled circumstance. Historically, I'm prone to falling off cliffs at bad times. This is kind of hilarious. In real life, I used to rock climb quite a bit. Another butcher, no big deal. Now if you're tr trying to determine whether or not you should- nah, I gotta do it. Whether or not you should play Gunslinger or, or Scoundrel, I'll tell you right now, sc 
Scoundrel could just go into his super stealth mode, or Jedi Shadow could also do that. And that would be no big deal getting through there. I have been jealous of that ability more than one on more than one occasion. Get more diverse DPS from my class. But uh the scoundrel can do a couple rules fairly adequately. And I think that flexibility has a lot of value. Glad I tagged that enemy. I just got myself some sweet loot. Some subpar loot. I do not really care about strength. And I am going to kill the groups nearby, because I don't want this to uh, surprise me later. Oh man! You jerk! Recuperate, let my abilities come back to normal. Seriously? Not impressed, Corso. I choose to blame you for this. Give yourself five points if you also blame Corso. Alright, let's try this one more time. I guess it's better that that didn't happen during the fight. Move in... to a corner. It's like Corso's starting to take damage, but at a slower rate than our friend. Oh yeah, we're set. Boom! Oh, that's okay, Corso. Alright everybody, we completed a bonus mission and Corso was on fire when it happened. You know what I call that? I call that a double win. Triple win if you count the security footlocker. I'll see you all in the next video.